You are not broken. Your brain isn't stuck this way, and the science proves it. I know what it feels like to think you're damaged forever, that all the years of using have messed you up so badly, you'll never feel normal again. But what if I told you your brain isn't done yet, that it's still changing right now, and you actually have control over what it becomes? This isn't just motivation, this is science. It's called neuroplasticity, and once I understood it, everything about my recovery changed. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to rewire itself. Think of your brain like a field of dirt roads. Every time you think a thought or take an action, you're walking the same path over and over again. Eventually, that dirt road becomes a trail, then a path, and then a paved highway. That's how addiction works. The more you use, the more those highways get reinforced. Cravings, triggers, relapse, shame. They become well-worn roads your brain travels without even thinking. But, and this is the game changer, you can build new roads. You can literally create new patterns in your brain by choosing new thoughts, new actions, and new behaviors. And the more you choose those new routes, the stronger they get. Eventually, those old highways crack, and the new ones take over. Recovery isn't just spiritual or emotional, it's neurological. Every time you resist the craving, show up to a meeting, open your journal, pray, serve someone else, you're building a new connection in the brain stronger and stronger. You're telling your brain, hey, we don't live there anymore. And the brain listens because what you feed your brain, it fires. And what fires together, wires together. When I started recovery, my brain was chaos. My automatic thoughts were negative, hopeless, and destructive. I didn't trust myself. I didn't even trust that I could recover. But I made a decision to act differently. Even if I didn't feel different yet, I wrote in a journal every day. I got around people who were building lives I wanted to live. I started praying again. I set goals, even small ones, and actually followed through. At first, it was going through the motions, just following things I knew were true, even though I didn't quite see them yet. But then something shifted. One day, I noticed that I hadn't thought about using all morning. That used to be the first thought in my head every single day. But this time, nothing. No craving, no fantasy, no, just one more. I realized that I had rewired something through step work and a relationship with God. Not overnight, not by accident, but by consistently choosing a different path. And the best part, you can do this too. You don't need a perfect past. You don't need to feel ready. You just need to start walking the new road, one step at a time. Journal your thoughts. When you put your thoughts on paper, you separate from them by putting them into existence outside the battlefield of your mind. You can see what's really going on and you can challenge it. That creates space for new thoughts to form. Speak truth out loud. Your brain believes your voice more than anyone else's. Affirmations aren't just fluff, they're reps for your mind. And I'll link to a positive affirmations video at the end of this one for you. Just like lifting weights builds muscle, speaking truth builds belief. Build some meaningful routines. Wake up at the same time, eat well, move your body, structure creates safety and safety gives your brain permission to stop scanning for danger all the time. That lowers stress, which helps healing. Pray or meditate. Whether you're spiritual or not, connection changes chemistry. Gratitude, surrender, faith, these aren't just nice ideas. They trigger real neurological responses that help you reset your system. And most importantly, serve. When you focus on helping someone else, your brain gets out of self-obsession and into purpose. You feel useful. That's how you build self-worth, confidence, and peace from the inside out. Now, I know what you might be thinking. That sounds great, but I've done so much damage. Let me tell you something. The brain is resilient. Even if you've used for years, even if you've relapsed more times than you can count, even if your thoughts feel like they're stuck in cement, neuroplasticity is still happening. I remember in the first couple months of my recovery, while I was building my routines and coming off of over a decade of serious hard drug use, I would stand in the shower with the water running over my head, my hand against the wall, praying for God to rewire my brain and heal my mind. It doesn't care about your past. It cares about your repetition. What you do today tells your brain what you want tomorrow. And if today you decide to take one different step, just one, you start pouring concrete into a new foundation. You don't need to feel different to act different. You don't need to wait until you're motivated. You just need to choose. Because the truth is, your brain isn't leading you. You're leading it. And every thought, every decision, every action is part of the reconstruction project. Your brain is listening. 
Your body is responding. Your spirit is healing. You're not just recovering from addiction. You're rebuilding yourself on every level. So if you've felt like you're stuck in the same mental loop, if you've believed the lie that you'll never be normal again, if you've been waiting for something to change without changing anything yourself, this is your moment. You're not broken. You're being rewired and you have the power to participate in the process. So let's go. Comment rewiring if you're done letting your past patterns decide your future. Say it, write it, speak it out loud. Let that be your first rep. Your new road starts now. Let's build it together and let's get it as you continue living Recovered on Purpose. If you wanna watch some positive affirmations for addicts and recovery so you can rewire your brain today, you can click right here. Or if you wanna watch my TEDx talk, Relapse Prevention Failed, click right here.